Okay, fourth trial. Are we ready? Better damn well be. He opens up, I shoot. I get the hell out of there and I don't look back. Don't look him in the eyes, just shoot. Come on, think of Sean. Think of Sean. I never used a gun. How hard can it be? All I have to do is pull the trigger. <laughs> Shit, I can't. I can't. Kill a man. I'm gonna kill a man to save my son. What kind of a choice is that? Oh, that seems a little bit... I can't just kill a guy in cold blood like that. Let's hope he's home alone. I didn't come all this way just to stop now. I've got to go through with it. For Sean. Well, there's only one way to find out what's actually happening inside. Maybe it's like a gangster or something. Then I won't feel so bad about killing him. <laughs> I don't know. You're knocking? Yeah? What do you want? Oh, fuck it. Oh, fuck. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies at my door. If you want to score, man, you gotta fucking call first. Come on. Beat it. <laughs> I fucked up. I fucked up. Come on, man, come out again. Fuck! Are you deaf or what? I should get out of here. You're gonna cause me trouble. Oh my fucking and I god. I don't like trouble. Fuck off. <laughs> hey. Whoa. Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? Oh shit! Oh my god! We are done, we are done. That is a goddamn shotgun. This guy is used to armory and stuff. Wrong button. Oh, fuck me. This is your own house, you know. Oh, shit. Hold it, man. I give you whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. These my girls, see? Where did you even? This one, Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please, please don't shoot. <laughs> I have two sons too, and you weren't thinking about that when you try to shoot me with a shotgun. I can't shoot this man. There must be another way to save Sean. There's got to be another way. I've got to kill this guy if I want to save Sean. I have no choice. This guy is just a lowlife who sells dope to kids. What's keeping me from killing this scumbag to save my son? But this guy has a family, too! He's a drug dealer, just scum. He wouldn't hesitate for a second if he was in my place. He, he didn't hesitate, but look at the room you're in right now! He has two kids, just like you! If he came into your house to kill you, and you know, you're a father too, so... Uh... I'm not a murderer. I have no right to take this guy's life. He's got a family, just like me. How can I take his life to save my son's? You're right. Ah! I love Sean. Nothing and no one is gonna stop me from saving my son. Well, if you kill him, 
Even if you save Sean, you're gonna become a murderer and go to jail, you know? Ah! Shoot, 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 don't shoot, don't shoot. I have to shoot. It's his life or Sean's. The bastard tried to kill me. He was gonna blow my head off. I don't know this guy. He means nothing to me. Kill a man to save Sean. Could I look myself in the mirror after doing something like that? Could Sean look at you? If I pull the trigger, I'll be taking this man's life. I'll be killing a defenseless man in cold blood. <laughs> defenseless man who would have killed you if you if he didn't run out of bullets. I can't kill him. I'm not a murderer. <laughs> We're just taking our sweet time here. We're both fathers for Christ's sakes. I can't kill him to save my son. Okay, why don't we think about where the clue comes from after we kill this guy? Because chances are, maybe it's in this house. Ah, you know what? I can't. I can't do it because... You know, on the highway, we can pretend that we didn't kill anybody because we don't know their names and everything, right? But right now, we're in this guy's home. This specific guy's home with this children's room and everything. If we kill him, we're taking his daughters away from him. And vice versa, so I don't think I can do that. Ugh. I'm a father too. But I'm no killer. If the origami killer told you to jump off a cliff, would you? Don't have to take all his orders. I mean, this guy was a bastard for killing us, but... Yeah, the daughters. <sighs> Mad, it's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments. Including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. Isn't Madison doing a little bit too much for being someone who's... The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Why are you even helping him that much? Gotta find some way to get him to talk about the Marble Street apartment. What do you want him to say? I'm gonna act all doped up. I hope he goes for the bait. You're like this one... like a girl by yourself. I don't know, man. Uh, can't tell much from here. Madison's doing a little bit too much, I think. She doesn't even know anything about Ethan, for all we know. For all Madison knows, Ethan could really be the origami killer. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Please, come in. You think she was asking for handouts? Ah. <laughs> uh, he was totally looking at my butt. I don't trust this guy one bit. So, you're looking for Betropid, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. Uh, no thanks. No thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. Uh, no. Uh, don't touch me. Personal space! Also, mixing pills with alcohol. That's fatal. You're a doctor, you know that. Uh, no! 
What about no? Don't you understand? Why did you give me a... I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? <laughs> I can't remember. My brain's fried with all these pills. <laughs> can't tell Dave from night half the time. <laughs> okay. Great first impression. Do you have many clients? A few. I help to ease their anxiety. Get my hands been off, thin enough, hard working enough. I reassure those who find the system too difficult. I'm like Valve that keeps society from imploding. This is a very strange setup for talking. This gigantic long couch. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. <laughs> Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. Subtle. Nice. I like it. You're not drinking? Uh, no, I'm not drinking. I am, um, um I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. We're not taking random alcoholic drinks from some guy we don't know, okay? That guy gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. The doc seems to be interested in property, amongst other things. Quick, I gotta find something. Don't make a sound. He's near. Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. Is this guy the killer? He certainly has the supplies. Could the doc be the origami killer? There's something about the way he looks. Origami killer? How about the table? Uh. Maybe a quick look behind those doors. I'll make up some lies if he finds me. I don't know about that. Oh shit! Fuck! I made a loud noise. Freaking hell, man. Surgical gowns? I thought he stopped performing operations. Must be some kind of a weird nostalgia for the past. I don't know about this. Can we not go inside people's rooms? If he catches us. Oh, I don't know how you realized that was important, but let's get the fuck out of here. Am I okay? Do I need more? He seemed to be upset that I wouldn't drink. I get the feeling I did the right thing. What's he up to? He went down the hall to get the drugs. I don't really want to, like... We're gonna have some fun together, my darling. I promise. <laughs> Shit! I didn't even drink! Oh, shit! Ah! Say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. Not even gonna bother screaming. I it to my friend Paco, if you must know. <laughs> I have no idea what he does there. 
Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> oh, that's the, the thing we picked up. To be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. What the fuck? I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against Oh my me. fucking god. Fuck, how do we get hold the fuck it. out of here? Is that sting of it? What the fuck? What the fuck? Holy fucking shit! I can't do anything! Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. Could we have gone out of this if we just took that letter and left? Fucking hell. Oh, come on. Guy! Scream! 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 Maybe he'll hear us! Hello, sir. I've come to bring you the word of the Lord in the form of these magnificent Bibles, which I will gladly leave with you in return for a contribution of only five dollars. No thanks, I love it. Come now, brother. I cannot believe the word of the Lord is of no interest to you. We, his humble flock, should walk in his place. Fuck. Fuck. I think he's back. Are they coming back? Fuck. Hurry the fuck up! <laughs> ah, shit! Fuck! This is fucking crazy! I'm done! <laughs> Panicking so hard.
I guess we're looking for that guy that we were looking at inside area, right? Feeling sick, got the sweats, hands are shaking. Hope this works out all right. Got them rain, soaking wet. Umbrellas, guys. Matt Jack is suspected of stealing the car I'm looking for. Might be worth asking him a few questions. Can we actually go this way? Blake wasn't in the office when I left. Don't think I'm gonna miss him. 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours if I want to find Sean Mars still alive. <laughs> Man, those are some dirty shoes. A scrapyard. Good a place as any to tinker with stolen cars. Cuba trip to Cam. Got it in my pocket. We don't need it. Jeez, won't this rain ever let up? I won't be coming here on vacation. That's for goddamn sure. Better have a word with the guy on the bulldozer. Mad Jack, a.k.a. Jackson Neville. This guy's got a criminal record as long as my arm. Better be careful. Hey, Quacker! Oops! What you doing in there? Norman Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for names. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. This is why police don't investigate on their own, right? They have to come with a partner or something. I don't trust this guy. Not much help, this so-called Mad Jack. He's either clean as a whistle, or else he's got something to hide. Hey, what are you doing in my scrapyard? Goes inside scrapyard. Better have a look with Ari. You never know. This is one fucked up sort of place. I'll question Neville and get the hell out of here. He's a, he doesn't want to be questioned. The blue Chevrolet is my only lead. Oh. Hmm. Not the car I'm looking for. Yeah, that's normal. There's a lot of cars going in and out of here, so. Blood. Now, why is there blood here? It's a lot of blood. Ugh. Size 10. Most likely a visitor. I like how he was so mad about us being here, but now he doesn't give a shit anymore. Uh. Whoa! One of your cop buddies asking too many questions. I had to solder up his little mouth. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Fuck. He's gonna kill me. Shit. He's walking me to the back of the shed to kill me. Tut tut. No dice, Inspector Asshole. Don't even think about it. Didn't see the QTE. Well, I think we gotta be really careful here. This could really be our death. Come on, come on, come on! 
done. Enough fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. I've no time to lose, Jack. I wanna know who that car belongs to. Well, what you want don't mean shit to me. I ain't no snitch. You better just lock me up now, boy. So you do know something, huh? Last chance, Jack. Make it easy on yourself. What you gonna do? You ain't got them killer eyes, so what? You gonna cuff me? Gasoline? Do you like fireworks, Jack? Cause I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. Shit, man, don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll say it was an accident cause you won't really be able to talk, will ya, Jack? You a crazy motherfucker. You out of your mind, man! No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Oh. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything? No. No, not now. Oh, shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Shit. Don't mess this one up. Oh, but I took the thing though, I took the tube. Turn around. Well, I guess I had to, for police duties and all. That was an interesting choice. I have no doubt that if we didn't take the tube, that could have ended really badly for us. And maybe that would have led to an entirely new scene. Heavy Rain does a lot of things shittily, but choice I think is something that is one of the things that Heavy Rain does do well, so...